Howdy y'all, Dawson Wood Defender Tactical. We are back down here at the Kickapoo Ranch range today. We're gonna to be doing some test shooting on our Red Dot Optics Adapter for Mossberg shotguns. For those of you that don't know, this allows you to integrate a Red Dot with the very popular RMR cut, uh, as well as some standard Glock iron sights for co-witnessing in the case of an optic failure or something like that, you run out of battery. Uh, we typically are never really fans of putting uh, Red Dots on our shotguns on the top because if it does have some sort of a failure, then you're really left with no options to aim your firearm. So that is why we've integrated these standard Glock sights into this adapter here. Uh, we have our 590 Cruiser with our quick stock on here. We also have this 590A1. Now a note about the 590A1 is that our model actually is a ghost ring model and we have removed the ghost ring, the rear ghost peep sight in the back here, and we've left the blade up front. Um, now that works great for co-witnessing as well. We do have standard height irons here in the back. Uh, it would probably be best if you got some sort of suppressor height sights, but we're gonna be doing the calculations to figure out exactly the right height that you need. And I'll throw that up on the screen right now. If you do have one of these ghost ring models that you would like to use the front blade for your co-witness. Um, so like I said, we've got our cruiser here and our 590A1. We've got a couple of different targets set up down range and we'll be shooting some Aguila mini slugs, maybe throw a few Federals in there as well. Um, but let's go ahead and get over to the bench and get started. All right, y'all, we're gonna be starting here with our 590 Cruiser. We've got three mini shells loaded up here. We've got our target down there at about 30 yards. Uh, so we'll go three with the red dot on and then another three going off just the irons. All right, also a very nice grouping for our first round. Uh, we'll go ahead and go back up and turn our red dot off and go just off of the open irons. Hopefully we can get as good of a group, but let's just go see what we can do. All right, y'all, we've got the red dot off now. We're gonna be going just off of the iron sights with three more mini slugs at about 30 yards. All right, y'all, so it looks like another pretty darn good grouping there. Uh, we may be just a little bit to the right, so we might need to adjust our sight and our dot. Looks like both of our groups were just off to the right a little bit. Um, but now we're pretty satisfied with that, so let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. All right, y'all, we're going to be repeating the same test for the 590A1 here. We've got three mini slugs, again, target at about 30 yards, and we'll have the red dot on for these three. All right, so a pretty good group here for the red dot on the 590A1. Uh, looks like we had one fly off to the left there a little bit. 
but let's go back and try the iron sights only. Now, like I mentioned earlier, we don't have the proper rear height sight on there. Uh, you're probably going to need a suppressor sight to be able to co-witness with that blade or to uh, aim with the blade up front. But let's go ahead and see what we can do. It may shoot a little bit high, but um, let's just give it a shot. All right, y'all, we've got three more here in our 590A1 at about 30 yards with just the irons. All right, y'all, so another pretty good grouping there. We are definitely shooting low because we don't have the proper height iron sight in the rear. Um, and these two holes actually are wads. We're gonna rewatch the footage and just double check that. Um, but we're pretty satisfied with this. So now we may go do some gong shooting or something like that to finish up the video. All right, y'all, we were pretty satisfied with our paper testing. So now we're just going to do a few rounds of gong shooting at about 75, 80 yards with our red dot on just to kind of finish up the video. So let's see what we can do. All right, y'all, we've moved up a little bit. My dad wanted to give it a go without the quick stock on there and shoot down there at that gong with the red dot. bad for an old man all right well I can't let him show me up so let's see how I do here All right, well, that was pretty fun. 
Uh, we're pretty happy with the results that we got out here today. Uh, so you can expect to see this launching on our store very soon. Uh, by the time you're watching this video, it will probably be already on our store. So there'll be a link down below in the description to pick one of these up. Let us know what y'all think about this in the comments below. And we'll see y'all in the next one.